Welcome to DNW Omega Productions. Your guess is right. This video is all about Halloween. Hi there, we are DNW Mega Productions. We create videos about life's important events and how we celebrate them. Our first video is all about Halloween. But before we begin, please hit the subscribe button to show your support and click on the notification bell to be updated on our upcoming videos. How cool is celebrating Halloween? Trick or treat for kids? eye-catching costumes, and, to top it all, delicious dishes to cap off the evening. Most Catholic countries celebrate Halloween on October 31st of each year. This year, it will be on Saturday. Halloween is also called Hallow Mass or All Hallows Day. Hallow refers to a holy person, a saint. Eam is a contraction of the word evening, making Halloween the night before All Saints' Day. As a backstory, the tradition originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, a Gallic festival marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. People would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. In the 9th century, Pope Gregory III designated November 1 as a time to honor All Saints. Soon, All Saints incorporated some traditions of Samhain, the evening before was known as All Hallows Eve, and now, more popularly, Halloween. Halloween turned into a night of activities like trick-or-treating, jack-o'-lanterns, happy gatherings, mystifying costumes, and most importantly, enjoying mouth-watering dishes. DNW also focuses on food. We have our catering services and we will soon be delivering our specialties to nearby areas in Angola City, Pampanga, Philippines. We will introduce ourselves in one of our succeeding videos. In a separate video, we will feature famous Pinoy delicacies and how to prepare them for special occasions. Some of these are chicken or pork adobo, lechon, pancit, barbecue, morcon, Lumpia, Bistik Tagalog, Kare Kare, Crispy Pata, Pinoy Desserts, and a lot more. So be sure to click on that notification bell and join us on our next videos. The idea of Halloween is never complete without the movies made for it. From gruesome horror flicks to romantic yet thrilling stories, to documentaries about evil entities, to local children's stories like the famous Mga Kwento ni Lola Bashang, short stories written by Severino Reyes and published in Liwayway, told about mythological creatures and unexplained phenomena that, in one way or another, has brought chills down the spine of people of all ages. The Philippine movie industry is not a stranger to the field of horror films. The first Pinoy horror film was made before the Second World War. It was entitled Halima, starring Nuning Ning and Serafine Garcia, directed by Tor Bilano, written by Enrique Tabila. Since then, more and more scary movies were produced by the top filmmakers in the industry. And here are our top three horror film picks produced in the Philippines. Third on our list, Patayin Mo sa Sindak si Barbara, a 1974 psychological horror film directed by Celso Ad Castillo, written by Mike Rilon Makiling, starring Susan Rosses as Barbara. Second is the film series Shake, Rattle and Roll, a Filipino horror anthology film series dating back to 1984. The first three films of the series were Baso, Prigidaire, and Mananangal. At the top of our list is a 2004 supernatural horror movie starring Chris Sakino, Fung Sui. 
The film centers on a cursed Bagua mirror where people get killed if they see themselves in the mirror, and their death is related to their Chinese zodiac. This film is directed by Chito S. Ronio. If you have your own top 3 Pinoy horror film picks, we'd like to read them in the comments section below. Hey, we thank you for watching our first video and there are a lot more to come. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We'd love to see you again. Happy Halloween!